はい、えー、じゃあこの時間からはストリートファイター6での G ブラッシュのワークローを紹介させていただきます、so like、to introduce the ZBrush workflow in Street Fighter 6. まずこちらはい自分で読んだらいいですかそうですねはい中,えー、と中平銀と申します、えー、2016年からカプコンでキャラクターモデラーとして働いています。So, I'm Gin Nakahira. I have been working as a character model at Capcom since 2016.、えー、これまで複数の格闘ゲームのタイトルに関わってきました。So far, I have been involved in several fighting game titles. ストリートファイター6では初期からチームに参加してルックの方向性を決めるリュウやその他のメインキャラクターを作成を担当しています。In Street Fighter VI, I was a part of the team from the beginning in charge of creating Ryu and other main characters and decided the direction of the looks. またキャラモデル内でのクオリティの管理や他の人員のサポートをしています。I also managed the quality within the character model team and supported other staffs. はい。高木康幸です。えー、モンスターハンター、バイオハザード、ドラゴンズ・ドクマーなどの、えー、パッケージアートをプリレンダーで10年以上担当していました。ここ数年はリアルタイムのゲーム開発にも参加するようになり、スカルプトテクスチャー作成、シェーダー開発などを行っています。Over the last few years, I've also gotten into real time game development, doing sculpting, texturing, and shader development. Street Fighter 6A was a technical artist, and I participated in Street Fighter 6 as a technical artist, providing support for 3D scanning and shader creation. In the last few years, I've also gotten into real time まずストリートファイター6のお話の前にカプコンと G ブラシの長い付き合いと積極的に使いこなす取り組みについて紹介させていただきます。So this is the things we like to talk about in our presentation and before we talk about Street Fighter 6 we'd like to talk about the long relationship with Capcom and Z Brush and how we actively use the application。そしてストリートファイター6での G ブラシの活用についてですがこちらはまず 3D スキャンデータを編集加工するワークフローと 3D スキャンデータから素材を作成する手法を紹介します。So in Street Fighter 6, we have used ZBrush for editing 3D scan data and tweaking them to our liking. We'd like to talk about this topic, and after that, we'd like to talk about how Street Fighter 6 characters are made and how we used 3D scan materials to, to our like, assets and stuff like that. えー、その後、ストリートファイター6のキャラクターをどのように作ったかをさまざまな例とともに紹介させていただきます。いや、次で大丈夫か、はい。はい。まずストリートファイター6のロンチプリブをご覧くださいですけど、音が出ない。音が出ない。音が出ない。えー、っと、ビデオ単体の方がいいですかね。We're gonna replay that video and get some sound. One second. All right, so as you can see so far, <laughs> see, you can't get away from me. I'm it's everywhere. This is our campus. Fighting is an art. And this is our canvas. Here we flex our style, our passion. Our creativity. To break rules, to bend minds, to change the game. This is where we make an impression.
where we make our masterpiece. So that was the Street Fighter VI initial um, launch and promotion video. Hey. Hey. Street Fighter VI no present no mai ni Capcom to Jibrash ka dore dake nanka ma nagai skiai na no ka to yu tokoro chotto dake shoukai shi yo kana to omoimasu. So we like to show how Zbrush and Capcom are best buddies before the actual presentation. え、since its inception, Capcom has been creating a series of industry-leading game titles like the remarkable commercial success around the globe, including the classic Street Fighter, which was the rage of the times, and the wide, a worldwide blockbuster survival horror game, Resident Evil, to name two. All of these original and innovative games have helped make the Capcom brand a household name. We continue to aspire to be a company that entertains people around the world and touches their heart. えっと、Even before the game were using normal maps, Capcom was using ZBrush. It was around 2004 when ZBrush was version 2. So you can see on the left, it was mainly used for high-end models for Monster Hunter packages. So before this, he was like spending like three weeks to actually get the package done, but it only took like three days to do this. え、その後、After that, Resident Evil 5 was using ZBrush to create textures because games started to use normal map as as their norm. Now, ZBrush has been an essential tool for creating characters, environmental pieces. So, so most of the model is using ZBrush in sculpting and texturing. また、ただ、ZBrushを使うのではなく、アーティストがより使いこなせるように様々な取り組みを行っています。え、毎年の新人研修で2D、3D関わらずアーティスト職全員が最低1月以上ZBrushを使った研修を行っています。Sorry, loading the text. Uh, we're not just using ZBrush, but actively trying to push the artist to reach another level. Every year, new employees including 2D and 3D, all the artists will go through at least a month of ZBrush training. Through this training, they are expected to have a higher understanding of 3D space composition and observation skills. No, 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 no. Hey. In the past, we've invited official ZBrush instructors to do some internal presentation for us and have a deeper understanding of the new features and come up with new ideas. え、これによってGBrushの新しい機能のより深い理解とスカイコナシのアイデアを生み出し、また日々の制作での疑問点をインストラクターに解決していく重要なイベントになっています。This is one of the important events because we can solve the daily issues with the instructor. え、さらにGBrushの日本公式イベントにも毎回登壇させていただきまして、社内の技術アピールと社外との交流を行っています。also, we've did some presentation for official ZBrush events in Japan, and we've tried to give back to the community and appeal our skills to the public. Now we'd like to talk about Street Fighter 6 and how we use ZBrush. 
主な内容はキャラクターのスカラプトについてですがそれは後ほど中平の方から紹介させていただきます。Mainly we're going to talk about character modeling and Nakahira will be doing the explanation. 先に高木の方からストリートファイター6での 3D スキャンデータの活用について紹介させていただきます。First, 高木 will explain how Street Fighter 6 is using 3D scan data and 3D,、uh, Street Fighter 6 is using Styler's art style and you might wonder why are we using 3D scans for this. スタイル化されたアートの本作では 3D スキャンの活用というのは不思議な感じかもしれませんが今までより説得力のあるアートのために主にリファレンスとして積極的に 3D スキャンの活用を行いました。大丈夫ですかまた 3D スキャンデータのクリーンナップや 3D スキャンデータからアルファなどの素材を作成するなどこれらのワークフローにおいて G ブラシは欠かせないツールであったと思います。So uh, we'd like to make the art which is convincing so we use 3D scan mainly as a reference and Z brush was used for 3D scan data cleanup alpha creation for 3D scans and Z brush was essential in this workflow. こちらは 3D スキャンデータです。さまざまな体型の俳優さんを呼び、さまざまなポーズを取っていただいたものを 3D スキャンしています。So these are the 3D scan data.、Uh, we've invited actors with various body styles and with var variety of poses and 3D scan them. 今作ではモデリングだけではなく、動いたときにどういった筋肉の変形をするかが重要だったためです。Because in Street Fighter 6, it was very important to understand how the muscle deforms with their movements. またこのスキャンを行った際にはアーティストが実際に確認しながらポーズの指示を行い実際の動きを観察して筋肉の構造の理解を深めました。Also, when we were scanning them, artists were actually checking how the muscle is moving around to have a deeper understanding of the structure. スキャンデータは完璧にスキャンできない場合もあります。そういった場合はクリーニングを行いますが、ほぼすべての工程で G ブラシを使います。Sometimes the scan data might not be perfect. In those cases, we're cleaning up the data, and in most cases, we're using Z ブ、えー、ノイズですので、使うブラシはスムースが主なものですが、通常のスムースだと滑らかになりすぎるため。スムースピークスのように尖ったところだけは滑らかにしたりスムースオルトでボリュームを維持しながら滑らかにします much,、so えー、実際に行っている様子はこちらになります。So, this is how, we,、uh, how, we, how it looks when we're doing the cleaning. As you can see, the edge of the muscle is kept, and one,、uh, only the noisy areas are getting smoother. So, as you can see, he's using smooth peaks, which is like, affecting only the areas that are、um, pointy and like, having spikes. でスムースオルトはボリュームを維持してくれるので強めにスムーズかけたい時とかにも使いますね、うんここかえー。またノイズが強い場合は、えー、穴のようなものが作られることもありますのでこれはさすがにスムースでは消えきらないため一度消してクローズホールで穴を埋めます。So, if the noise is too strong, smooth might not do the job. So, in this case, we're deleting them first and filling them with a closed hole. So, this is how the cleaning process, process look, looks like. First, we mask the areas we want to remove. でポリグループで消したところを、えー、デルヒドンで消した後にクローズホールをかけます。So person control W to apply poly group and then hidden, hiding the areas we want to remove and deleting them. 
この時のメッシュの保管がきれいなので非常に気に入っています。So, because closed hall will create a new, like, a, a neat, like,、um, mesh around the filled areas. So, he likes this kind of like,、um, style.、Hmm. えー、次に 3D スキャンデータからの素材化の例を紹介します服のシワなど手でスカルプトするのが難しいものはスキャンデータからのアルファが役に立ちますので使えるところはアルファ化しておきます。So next, we want to show how we're using 3D scan data as a new asset. So for the closed folds, which is pretty tricky if you want to hand sculpt them, these alphas which we made from scan data will help us tremendously. We make alphas when we find a neat fold that we would like to use. アルファ化するのはさまざまな方法がありますが、えー、今回はまずエクストラクトを使います。So there's multiple ways you can convert to alphas, but in this example, we're using extract.、えー、チェックをゼロに設定すると、片面だけのメッシュができます。If you set the thickness to zero, you can make a one-sided mesh. でそのメッシュを G リメッシャーで低解像度のメッシュにします。Then we Z remesh it to make a lower resolution. コントロール D でサブディビジョンレベルを上げます。Then we add subdivision levels by control D. そして元のメッシュから仕様を転写するためにプロジェクトオールをします。Next will be project all to get the details from the original mesh. でこの立体をアルファにしたいので UV マスターを使って UV を作成します。And we'd like to convert this to an alpha, so UV master is, to, is used to create the UVs. でそしてこの状態でディスプレイスメントマップを作成するとシワの立体がアルファになります。Then if we create a displacement map, these folds will become an alpha. でこうして素材化しておくことでさまざまなところで役に立ちます。So、ただこれはあの今だとエクストラクターで一発なのでそんなにはって感じですね。So now you can use extraction brushes to actually get these details as well.、so、we'll switch into Nakahira san. Hi, I'm Nakahira. Nice to meet you guys. <笑>えー、自分からは、えー、格闘ゲームの画面にアフター造形と演出で使用された筋肉表現とシワ表現の2点について解説します。So from my side, we'd like to talk about how we've adjusted the model to fit the screen and how we created the scene-specific muscle expressions and the cloth folds.、はい、ではワークフローの説明からです。えー、so first of all, the workflow. デザイナーは完成させたコンセプトアートを受け取ってキャラクターのモチーフになっている人種筋肉服などをキャラクターのイメージを膨らませるのに必要な資料を収集します。Z ブラシでシルエットを整えてリティールを詰めます。So we get the concept art of,、uh, arts from the designers, collect references so we can imagine the motif of the type of characters, muscle structures, garments, so we can have a better understanding of the character image. Then we create a silhouette with ZBrush and start sculpting the details. で、えー、と受け取ったコンセプトアートを使ってキャラクターへの理解を深めます。As you can see, we have Zangief on the screen. 簡単にプロフィールを紹介します。赤きサイクロンの意味を持つ巨漢のプロレスラー、筋肉こそ思考という独自の理論を提唱し、肉体の進化と更新の指導に励んでいるという設定のキャラクターです。So, his character is known as a red cyclone with a gigantic body. He has his own philosophy of muscle is the best and obsessed with evolving his muscle and teaching to younger generations. His body is based on a pro wrestler and has a good balance of muscle and fat and huge mass by design. Pro wrestler, as you can see, is a very good design. 
次行っちゃっていいえっ、ー、とスキャンモデルを参考にします。So we use scan models for reference. 画像ではあばらの見え方や背中の立体感を参考にしていました。So from this image, we've used how the rib cages would look and used how the volume would feel from the back of his body. えっと資料を他にも資料を集めます。So we collected multiple references. And, and these are just one example. Anatomy books and pro wrestling books. Pro wrestling books are a lot of fun. Pro wrestling books are good for reference for the body, but also the looks and the design of the garments. Pro wrestling books are good for reference for the body, but also the looks and the design of the garments. We try to collect as much as references as possible. えっと一応過去作のイラストと見比べながらえキャラクターの把握をしていきます。We've also compared to the old images and try to understand deeply about the character. えっとザンギエフの場合 AD のメモがあったのでこれも使います。Also in Zangief's case, we had the art director's note as well. えっとコンセプトアートの段階で落ちた情報がないかを探るためだったり、より特徴のシンプルなイメージを膨らませるためのものです。We've tried to look at the information that might have fallen through the cracks when we were designing during the concept art phase and tried to pick up those features. えっとメモを参考にした例です。えっとコンセプトアートのバランスだと、まあ上唇のスペースが確保できなかったので、口の位置を下げました。えっとそのままだと顎がしゃがれた印象が弱くなるため、えっとヒゲのボリュームで足して、えっとバランスを調整しています。So this is the example when we've used the art director's notes. So if you look at the concept art, it had to adjust the spacing between the upper lips, so they had to adjust the mouth position to a bit lower position. ゴワゴワしていてボリュームのあるヒゲの形がまあザンギエフのキャラクター性にも合ってると思います。But this will make it not feel like a turned up chin, so the volume of the beard was added. Stubby mustache with volume would be more fitting for z a n g i e f はい、ではえっとスカルトを始めたんです。えっとシルエットを整えます。Next we tune the silhouettes. この段階で気にしているのは二つあります。I'm only concerned about two things at this stage. First, I'm only concerned about if it has enough volume, and we created a rough muscle structure as and seeing the balance. Second, is if the pose is wrong. If the pose is wrong, we set up and move the game to the game to the game. Secondly, we are looking at the design with the pose and seeing if it matches our image.、Uh, we've done the steps in Maya and posed it inside the game screen. We'll take a look at the idle, punch, kick, and special moves and check if it matches the image. ザンギエフの場合、それぞれの筋肉のパーツははっきりしているんですけども、肩から流れるラインは丸いです。内側との情報を折り合いつけながらシルエットを調整します。In Zangief's case, each muscle parts are very visible, but the lines from the shoulders are round, and we are balancing with the internal information and adjusting the silhouettes. はい、ディティールを詰めます。Then we add detail. でえー、とスキャンモデルを参考にしながらディティールを詰めたんですけども、えーとえー、細かな陰影や情報の密度を参考にしていました。We're using scan data to add more details, like small shadows, and focusing on the information resolution. しかし、キャラクターに必要とされているシルエットとは程遠いです。But if you look at the scan data, it's very far from what the character is required for the silhouettes. 身長、太さ、筋肉と脂肪の量、つき方だったり。Like the height, thickness, muscle, amount of fat, and how they would, they would apply. なので、スキャンモデル自体を使うのではなくて、あくまで参考にしながら、Z ブラシでスカルプとしていきます。So we're not using scan data models directly, so we're just using them as reference and sculpting with ZBrush by hand. 
、えっと、左はマリーザの腕です。右はスキャンモデルです。Left is Marisa's arms and the right is the scan model. えー、ボリュームの差はありますがそれぞれに筋肉らしいラインが見て取れます volume, muscle, like、しかしスキャンモデルは複雑な形状をしているためいろいろな角度から見た時望まないシルエットになっている可能性があります、so If you rotate it slightly, it might have a different kind of like,、um, like shape to it. So it might have more complexity and which might not fit your image. れれ Let's see. 右は流れがつながっていて、筋肉を感じられづらいように見えます。On the left, you can see the valley between the deltoids and the triceps clearly. And on the right, it's more connected and might not feel like a muscle structure. えとスキャンモデルは少しの感覚度の違いで印象が変わりやすいです。えー、とキャラクターの造形には不向きなので、意図して筋肉の印象をつ強めます。But if you change the scan model's angle slightly, the impression changes a lot. And it's not really suited for character models. So we're exaggerating the muscles. Creating a bigger circle makes the smaller peaks disappear and makes it more very simple. But designing the silhouette might, would be much more important. 3D スキャンのテストで撮影したチームのデザインをしているムキムキなおじさんですでかなりムキムキなんですけども、so designer, dude, see, <笑>まあ、並べてしまうとやはり見劣りします<笑> But if you put, in, put him in the Street Fighter, he's looking like nothing.、Uh, he would be an average middle aged dude in this game. So, as you can see from the image, exaggerating the volume, creating the silhouettes, it's very important for the fighting game screen design. 格闘ゲームは、えー、のキャラクターはカメラから離れた位置で表示されるので強く誇張しないと体の力強さが伝わらず印象が弱くなります。Because fighting games would place the characters from a distance, you have to exaggerate the designs to make, to, to make them feel strong enough. So exaggerating more and make it more stronger than the real human and with more character. リアルな人間よりも強くより個性を出すために誇張しましょう。うん、次いっちゃって。いくつかのキャラクターで体型の差を見てみましょう。Let's see the difference of silhouettes in other characters. 全体的にあ、えーと、このキャラクターはルークです。This with the standard body type, and it's very thick compared to the scan model, and especially Luke's forearms are very big. <笑>えと特に前腕が大きいんですけども。ゲーム画面でも大きく感じますが近づいてみるとまあより大きいです。So if you look at on the zebrafish model, the forearms are very big, and on the game screen,、uh, like it's still big, but if you look closely、uh, with the pose, it, it like it's like natural and it would look cool. はい。えっ、ー、と次はダルシムです。えー、とダルシムは細い印象がありますが肩と手足が大きいです。So in Dalsim's case, impression, like his impression is much thinner, but the hands, legs, shoulders are big compared to it. と腕,とかほえー、と腕と腰の細さを強調するために、えー、とメリハリをつけています。So we're balancing them so we can exaggerate the thinness of the arms and the hips.、うんえーと細身なキャラクターだからといって、すべてを細くするんじゃなくて、えー、メリハリをつけています。If we choose to make all his parts thin, the impression would be much weaker. 
全体が角張っていて脂肪が落ちている印象です。And also he has tight muscles, making it look like he has less fat. 頭が四角いのも特徴です。And also his head is also square, which is by design. はい。で、えっ、ー、と、ホンダです、えー。脂肪もついていますが、それを回って筋肉がついている印象です。Honda has more fat, but he has more muscle than that. Kinnik no separation wa hakki s h t e s a s o no yokoyo o e t e z e n t a m a r k n a r s h i l e t o s k u t e m a s So we made the separation of the muscles more visible, but kept it mild, so the entire silhouette looks round. でえー、と秋はコンセプトアートも用意しているのでそちらと、えー、比べながら見てみましょう。So we brought new characters Aki's concept art as well. So let's compare and take a look. えっ、ー、と、えー、スレンダーですが病的に、えー、細くしたいわけではなく引き締まった印象にしたいです。So if you, didn't, if you read the notes from the concept art, it says Slender, but not. Sorry, the, the text is not loading. So,、uh, if you read the notes from the, on the right, it says slender, but not coming from an ill illness. So, we want to make, sh- make it tight, but we'd like to make it not look perfect, perfectly trained, so the mu- muscle is mild. So, we've modeled it like that. えー、とあるので、えー、ど,こどこまで行きましたか、えー、とコンセプトの説明が終わったとはい了解です、えー、Z ブラシの画面へ行きますと,、えー、と線で補足してある通り肩が張っていて腰が細くなるようにしています So we've drawn a line in Z ブラシ screen so you can see the shoulders are wide and the hips are thinner Hands, backs, knees would be bony, so it's more made visible on the silhouette. So we have the same thing as the other one. So we have the same thing as the other one. So we have the same thing as the other one. So we have the same thing as the other one. When we put her in the game, we've added a bit more width to the shoulders and volume to the hips than this artwork. オートセーブが<笑>。オートセーブどこできるんでしたっけ。これですか。これですか。はい。ええー、はい。あるね。こんな感じで。こんな感じになってます。So it would look like this. This is the concept art of the face. 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 We've compared a lot to the artwork so it matches the hair, eyes, and the mouth balance properly. The concept art of the face. The concept art of the face. The concept art of the face. So we followed the eyes, nose shape precisely so it matches the illustration. Also, we had to be careful to not make shadows under the eyes and piltrum so it wouldn't have a bad impression of the character. The eyes and the eyes are very good. I'm going to be careful to make the eyes and the eyes are very good. Next one. ここまで何回あの構造を作っとらせて確認するようにいったターンがありましたが、えー、と具体的にはこんな感じでやっていました。So here's the exact actual example of the posing. えと実際には使われないんですが、えー、とこんな感じの子かな、こんな技を出すんかなと想像しながら構造を作ります。These weren't actually used, but we tried to couple of poses, actions, thinking she might do these moves. えー、とイメージ通りの印象になっているかどうか確
認します。I'd recommend doing them、uh, because it would motivate you while making the characters. Tension が上がるのでおすすめです。で、えっと左のしゃがんでいる画像がお気に入りです。I personally like the one on the bottom left where she's crouching. で、こんな感じで、えっとストロークではシルエットとそれに当たりティーを作ることをゼットブラシでやっています。As you can see, we're making silhouettes and details with ZBrush. 基本のワークフローは以上です。ここからはシワ表現について解説します。So the basic workflow is done. So we're going to show how we did the folds. えっと衣装について過去作ではこんな感じで表現をしていました。So for the cloth in the past series, we've done done it like this. 道着の背中のシワが引っ張られて、シワが出てきています。So the fold is happening on the back when it's getting pulled. ドット絵で作られていた頃の作品ではパターンがごとにシワの形を書き換えることができるので豊かに表現されていました。Because these are pixel art, you are you can freely write the folds, making a wide range of expression. ゲームの表現が 3D、CG を使用するにようになると表現の幅が広がったもののえっと動的なシワの変化はゲームでは表現しづらい状況でした。But with the 3D graphics, we have several ways to express things. But the active like cloth changes were a hard task to tackle. と現にストシックソフトフォートストロファイブではえっと実装されてこなかったのですが、ストロークではえっと動的なシワの変化に挑戦しました。In Street Fighter f and 5 it wasn't added, but in 6 we've decided to tackle this problem. どうどうやって実装したかというと、各ポーズに合わせたシワを作ります。So how we did this was make the folds for each pose. え、体をひねる、足を後ろに下げる、膝を曲げるなどそれぞれの動きに合わせてスクラップとし直します。So body twist, moving the legs behind, behind the legs. Each pose need needed tweaking with the sculpt. 左はシワ表現が入っている状態、右はシワ表現が入っていない状態です。So on the left is with the wrinkles, and on the right is without the wrinkles. 普通にゲームをプレイしていると気づきづらいかもしれませんが、オフにすると差がよくわかります。Normally, if you're playing the game, it wouldn't be noticeable, but if you turn it off, it's easy to see the difference. 自然に入れることで効果的にクオリティに影響します。Each fold is sculpted and baked to normal map. シワ一つ一つをスカルプとしてベイクしてノーマルマップを書き出してブレンドシェイプとジョイントの動きに合わせるように設定してブレンドする位置をマスクで指定してというふうに作業コストが高くゲームではなかなか取り入れづらいのですがメインキャラは全コスチュームで対応しています。And joints movement connected to blend shapes, blended position needed to be masked, and you can see there's a lot of like process that that goes into this, but Uh, main characters has this applied to all costumes. Eh, after this, I'll show you later on, but we've done this for the body as well. Eh, body だけで基本三十八個の色を使用しています。There's thirty-eight basic blend shapes used for the body. 全部をスカルプとし直しているわけではありませんが、え、服も合わせると大抵のキャラクターで百以上使用しています。Not all of it is sculpted repeatedly, but if you include the garments, it's about more than a hundred blend shapes. So this is in action. If he twists the back and when he moves the legs, would be easy to spot. トランスポーズクロスを使用して作成しています。So this is using transpose cloth to make this。この後実際にやってみます。So I'll show you later on。もう一つ動画を用意しています。So this is the none of video。膝が曲がった時にシワが出てきて伸ばすとシワが消えます。So you can see the folds when she bends the knees, and folds goes away when she、uh, when her legs are stretched. So here's the image comparison. 
ゼリーの場合はマーベラスデザイナーでシミュレーションしたものをゼットブラシで微調整しています。In Julie's case, we've used Mar-、uh, Marvelous Designer's simulation and adjusted ZBrush. では実際にゼットブラシを使用してシワ表現を作成したいみたいと思います。So let's move to ZBrush and show you how, to, how the folds are made. まずこれが普通のえっとロギです。So this is the、um, actual garment itself。でえっと体を剃ったとき、丸めたとき、あれ、たとき丸めたとき、肩を上げたとき、逆側に上げたとき、とはひねったとき。So, this is all the actions when the character is doing the stretching and bending and moving the shoulders and twisting.、はい、で足を曲げたとき、もっと曲げたとき、で後ろに、えー、と下げたときと、横に上げたときと、前に出したとき。So these are the bending the knees, bending it deeper, moving the legs behind, bringing the legs up, moving the legs forwards. このように各部位の体の動きに合わせてスカルプトします。So we'll sculpt for each body movement. では、えっと上半身のシワからやってみたいと思います。So first, we'll start making the、uh, folds for the upper torso. えー、とレイヤーの中に体のひねったメッシュをあらかじめ登録しておきます。So we'll register the body twist as a layer. これは、えー、とマヤでウェイトを調整したものです。So this is tweaked with Maya. このポーズをしたときに出るシワを作成します。And we'll sculpt how the folds will show up in this pose. モフターゲットを登録して。レイヤーオフにします。We'll set the morph target and turn off the layers. で、レイヤーをこっちのレイヤーをオフにして、で、一部をマスクしてトランスポーズクロスを使用します。So then we're going to use the transpose cloth with the mask. だいたい真ん中ですね。でえっ、ー、とどっちだっけ？こっちかな。<笑>で、もうだいたいこれで完成で、うん、えっ、ー、とし,しわ表現。シワ以外の形状を毛布ブラシで修正しています。So we're going to fix the shapes with more brush to remove the,、um, the shapes without、uh, the, the other shapes,、uh, not the, the non-folds shapes. ひねったことで体のメッシュを突き抜けていることがあるのでそれを修正します。There might be parts of the body which is sticking out, so we'll adjust them.
と微調整をして完成です。So then we're going to do the minor tweaks and it's done. では次は足を後ろに下げる動きもシャオを作ってみます。So next we'll tweak the, tweak the folds when the character moves、uh, the legs behind. えー、と足にマスクをかけます。We'll first mask the legs. で、えー、とトランスポーズクロスで回転します。We're going to rotate with transpose class. で、うん。えー、と大体このままで大丈夫なのですがお尻が潰れているので修正します。So the butt is squished, so I'll need to fix this. とスタックでは、えー、と視野表現する際中に体がしっかりある感じを感じられるようにこだわって調整をしています。In Street Fighter 6 we were focusing on the faults, but we also made sure it feels like the body is actually inside the cloth. Next will be the knee bending. To his a n e to m a s o k a k e m a s Well, next, mask the knees. えー、とトランスポーズクロスで回転します。Then rotate with transpose class. で、マスクのグラデーションで挙動が変わってくるので。So, there's a slight difference when you're doing the mask gradient. So, we'll tweak, tweak and repeat so we get a different result. Something like this. Mm -hmm. So we need to adjust this slightly because it doesn't look right. So the folds will be pulled by the knee, so、um, we'll need to cover the heels. So on the front, there will be a stretch fold. えー、膝にも引っ張られて、えー、シワが上がるのを再現します。So because the knee is like pulling the、um, cloths, so we'll adjust it slightly so we can do that. えっと太ももの丸みを感じられるように調整します。Also the thigh will be adjusted so it feels the roundness.
また微調整したら完成です。Yep. Then you, we will do, usually do the minor adjustments and it's done. で、えっ、ー、と、クロス系の機能は、えっ、ー、と、形状が複雑な場合は難しい、えー。使うのが難しくて扱いに癖がありますが、手軽に試行錯誤できるので好きな機能です。So, cloth features are a bit tricky to use and have some quirks, but it's easy to do some testing, and I love this feature. So, this is the false. So, next, we're doing muscle expression. It's the same with the folds, but the body will need to be adjusted with the pose. <laughs> the video is showcasing the elbow in action. The next is the whole body. You can see the pectoral muscles are moving along with the arms and the shoulders. その他全身に細かな調整が入っています。Also, there's additional changes to the body. So the video is a bit long. <laughs> They found this video while prepping for the presentation as well, so it's pretty much exclusive to this, <laughs> this presentation. So he's also able to sit in a kneeling position as well. <laughs> Next is the muscle expression. As same as his folds, each pose needed to be sculpted. So let's see this in ZBrush. So these are the same kind of like thinking when it comes to like、uh, the posing itself. Like、um, these have the bending arms, more bending arms, and then the、uh, bent on the opposite direction, and those kind of action is like registered. で肩を前に出した時のポーズで動かしすぎに見えるかもしれませんが、えー、印象的な動きをさせるためにこれぐらい極端な状態で動いているの,の場合が多いので耐えられるように作成しています。So this includes like moving the shoulders, moving the folders sh and like shoulders forward and like stretching the legs and it might look look a bit exaggerated but like also it might look very like strong、uh, but it needs to be able to do these kind of moves. Also, we're、um, adding some like torso.、Uh, is, like, when, when, the, when the torso is stretched and bent, arms moving forward and also those poses as well. So we prepped some couple of videos. 
So his Marie's muscle expression, shoulders and the arms has the muscle expression implied. So we prepped the image, so you missed it. <laughs> so these are the results. So um, the muscle expressions are uh, applied when like, he's doing this pose. So this is Zangief's result. Mm. So each cut has its own version of the sculpt. So let's see this in ZBrush. <laughs> yeah, currently auto saving. Fuck you, Thank you, so the each pose is corresponding to the cuts. So in Zangief's case, each cut has its own unique set. And the so for the, especially for the fourth cut, there's a drastic change in the deltoids and the pectoral muscles. So we specifically made it for this scene. So I'd like to sculpt the fourth scene for you. So front side of the deltoid and the upper part of the pectoral muscles will be exaggerated. です。大丈夫です。大丈夫。はい、えっと、スキャンモデル参考に参加金と大丈夫。30分。20 so using the scan model as reference, we'll fill the gap between the deltoids and the pectoral muscles. So because the arms are moved forward, under portion of the pectoral muscle will be sculpted modestly.
で、えー、と体積が増えるとただ膨らんで見えるので、えっと、別の場所を減らしています。So, if the entire volume is inflated, it would just look like a bulge, so we reduce the other portions. The Daikyo Kin Job to Tube no Ida Ni Kato Ilete, Shikari Kagero Tsuyo Ni Shimas. So we will make a groove in the upper and the middle portion of the pectoral muscles, so it has shadows. でえー、と二頭筋と前腕も盛ります。So we will adjust the biceps, but we will follow the same rule and reduce the other parts and add the cut. えー、と先ほどと同じように持った分だけカットを入れていきます。デルトリスは同じで、カットを入れて三角筋は同じパターンでカットが入るので、えー、それに、えー、を見ながらちょっと入れていきます。And the front and the side muscles are connected at the bottom, then it would turn into a zigzag kind of like shape. えー、と確認しやすい箇所だと,、えー、と前腕と側面の間の溝は、えー、と下側でつながっている感じです。Yeah, so the muscles are connected at the bottom, so、um, it would have a specific shape for this. で、えー、そこから、えー、そこ起点にジグザグと筋の入るポイントが変わります。And then it would turn into a zigzag kind of like shape. <clears throat> Then we will tweak the small details and add the veins.
as you can see on the screen, there's like multiple layers that he's applying, like the muscle structure and the veins is a separate layer. So this is a completed version of the sculpt. And it will look like this. So um, if you're interested in the results, you might want to grab the game and take a deeper look at it. <laughs> So that's it for my presentation. Thank you for listening. All right, all right, all right. So I know we actually had some questions. So we're going to start with you, and then I know there's one in the back. So. Yeah, go ahead. Hi, uh, thanks for the presentation. Uh, I have a question. Uh, yep. I know back then there's a book called Capcom Street Fighter Anatomy Guy. Uh, when you got, when you guys doing um, characters for Street Fighter Six, are you guys still using that Capcom classic Street Fighter? えっと、ま、書籍で解剖学の本でストリートファイターの解剖学書みたいなやつが出たんですね。で、それを未だに使っていたりとかするんですか、社内で。あ、怪しい解剖学ですよね。そうですね。怪しい解剖学っていう名前で、その書籍があったんですけど、ま、今見ると本当に怪しいので、あまり信用はしてないですね。So, <笑> uh, the the book is called um Ayashi meaning strange in Japanese. So, strange anatomy book. <笑> so, uh but um, it, like because we have the better understanding from the new like anatomy series, like now it look, actually looks strange for them. <laughs> so they're not really actually using it. ただあのまあ大事にしたいポイントはあのその頃とあんまり変わってはいないのでまああの表現の精度が変わ今の方がいい良くなったっていうような感じです。So because they have a better understanding with the anatomy, uh, but uh, so. Um, they, they have a better resolution of like a higher understanding of the anatomy, but the important part is the same. So the points that they want to exaggerate would be the same. Awesome. Here. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. That was really awesome. Um, well, I have a question about the topology that you guys use uh, and the, the blend shape. Are, are you guys sending the blend shape to the game? Or is it just wrinkle maps? だから、so every single character in Street Fighter Six has the same topology. So it's a universal mesh. So this is the actual mesh used in the game. So even for Zangief, it's the same with other characters. Hi, again, uh, thank you so much for a fantastic presentation. Yep. Uh, when you're doing the sculpting for a cloth expression, for those cloth, is purely meant for creating wrinkle maps and normal maps, or are you also sculpting shapes that gets animated into, into the engine? Yeah, so, for example, 
ブレンドシェイプとして掘ったものを送っていますね。So they actually sending it as a blend blend shapes. So so the blend shapes are actually used in the game. でえっとノーマルマップも一緒にブレンドしてますね。So no more maps is also blend like made into a blend shape as well. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. So a uh, thousand, the character can have like a very long like arm stretching attack. I wonder if you use like the same universal mesh, does it still hold up in the game when they do the stretching attack? Thousand? Yeah. Yeah. ダルシムが腕伸びるじゃないですか。あれも全部同じメッシュなんですか。あ、同じメッシュ。Yeah, it's the same mesh. Do we have it? Yes. Perfect. A uh, beautiful presentation. Thank you for sharing uh, all your knowledge. I was curious but about the you're you're sculpting all these shapes. Are you getting the initial poses from rigging and or character TD and then passing them back and forth, or do you also work with the the rigging uh, artists to do they do any of the sculpting, or is it only just the character artists? Thank you. キャラクターのポーズを作るときに基本的なポーズがあるじゃないですか。はい、で、えっとそれをジバシに送って放ってるっていう状態じゃないですか。はい、で、それは例えばリギングをしてるアーティストが例えば彫刻をしたりとかそういう調整はしたりとかするんですかって。えー、っと、多分他の会社は違うと思うんですけど、えっとカプコンではえっと補助関節を入れるとこまでで動かしてウェイトつけるとこまでがえっとモデラーの仕事だったりしますね。なるほど。So this might be different in other uh, um, companies, but、uh, in Capcom,、uh, they are required, and the modeler is actually required to do the actual blend shapes and the、um, the actual like additional joints、um, required for the characters. So the actual like sculpting process is the modeler's job to do that. <laughs> yeah. 美しい仕事でありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。Perfect. Hi,、uh, another question for me.、Uh, since、uh, each character they have a potentially alternative costume and maybe、uh, different hairstyle, so when you're creating each character for female and male, do you always create the naked version for each one of them, like without hair, without beard, without clothing, and then、uh, you do that for potentially future DLC costume? 例えば、えっと、新しく衣装が追加されたりするじゃないですかでそれを想定した上で例えばあの共通のメッシュをなんか裸の状態で作ってでしかも髪の毛とかない状態で作ってるのか例えば髪の型が途中で変わったりとかもするじゃないですか、はい、でそういうのは想定して作ってるんですかってえっ、ー、と一旦あの全然出ないキャラクター肌が出ないキャラクターとかもいるんですけど、はい、一旦は、えっと、コンセプトアートも体の突っ張らかなやつを用意してそれ通りにモデルも作りますね。うん So f- first,、um, like even the, even some characters don't show much skin.、Uh, we make sure that we make the characters like、uh, from the like nude, and then、um, we'll start from there and adjust it accordingly. So if there's like additional like cloths, they'll、uh, tweak it later on. Hi, thank you for the presentation.、Um, so. When you were showcasing the poses, when you were twisting, for example,、um, it looked a little bit like you were guessing. But I wonder, would there be a situation where the animators would animate it into a pose first, then send it back to the character model modeler to do the blend shape? 例えば、えっと体のひねりとかを加えるときにアニメーターが先にそのポーズを取って。じゃあそのブレンドシェイプを作ってほしいって言って依頼をしてモデラーの方に戻すことってのあるんですかって、えー、そうですねえっ、ー、とやっぱりポーズが激しすぎて、えー、と崩れることがあるのでその場合はアニメーターから相談してくることもありますけど基本的にはこっちで、まあ、ある程度これぐらいやっとけば大丈夫でしょうっていうのを見,、えー、見積もってから作っています。Okay. So, um... When, when the animators do the pose, if it's like not enough and like if it's actually necessary to do some additional like blend shapes,、um, they might like talk to the modeler and then、um, discuss if it's actually needed. But in most cases, the modeler would、um, like 
Um, try and overthink things, and then um, like be prepared if that case doesn't happen. So they'll be like adding more things before the animators say so. Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got a question. Another question about topology yep. is what we see in ZBrush. What is in Engine? Otherwise, is there a triangulated mesh or a low poly that is ba that everything is baked onto? 例えばスカウトしてるメッシュトポロジーがあるじゃないですか、はい、でそれが実際に今あのなんだゼブラシに送られているものなのか例えばそれがあの三角化されてローポリになったものがもある別にあるのかっていうああいや、えー、と一緒ですね yeah this is the same topology with the game たもうあのあらかじめ三角化してないとあのゲームに入れた時に破綻しやすいところはあるのでその時は三角化してるんですけどまあ最初に作るのはこれで,でほとんどキャラクターは四角のまま終わってますね。So in some cases where the character absolutely needs to be triangulated they will triangulate first and then do the sculpt but in most cases it, like square is fine so this is the actual mesh that they are using in game. Yeah. Very cool. Are there any questions? Yes. You in the front. So, <clears throat> thank you very much. So, I, I think I understand it. Um, Y'all have the same uh, point count for each model, and I believe that's what you've said. And is it if, it, if so, is it easier for you to see the details or predict what you want the model to do? Yeah, so it's a completely same topology. So it's going to be the same poly counts. It's going to be the same polygon counts. So obviously the motivations for it to be easier. So how is that easier? So it's easier in a sense that because you can use the same rigging as well with other characters. So it can do some other like type of effects and like posing with the same like like other characters. So it's a uniform mesh, so it doesn't require you to do additional rigging so for each character. Well, the topology of the merit is where it is. Where it is. Yes. 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 More questions, great. great. Let's go to you first. Sweet. All right. Um, if I understand, so every time that uh, a new costume is made for a character, you would have to do, uh, you have to make these blend shapes for it every single time? Or are you creating these costumes so they can share some of these uh, wrinkle maps and, uh, or some of these blend shapes? えっと、新しい種が追加されるたびに掘ってるのかそれともある程度共有で利用できるあのリンクルマップを使ってるのかってどっちなんですかっていうえー、っと服のことですよね、はい、えー、っと新しい衣装ができるたびに作ってますね so he's sculpting each single cloth when they add something あまあなんかあの<笑>アルファとかえっ、ー、と、えー、なんていうか VDM とかで、はいまあ、できるだけ楽はしようとはしてますね。So they they are trying to make it make things easier, but currently it's like manual sculpting. <笑>ただ結局形状が違うので作ることにはなります。<笑> so in some cases, like because you're like using this common thing, it doesn't might not fit your requirements, and it doesn't look cool. Then we need to adjust it accordingly. So. Okay, I know there are some questions we have here. Are there any in the back? I don't want to make sure this bright light is not making me miss anyone. Yes. All right. So, so. Hmm. Um, hi. You didn't happen to bring Ed or Akuma uh, as a model, did you? <laughs> that was my question. <laughs> what? Which characters? Ed and Akuma. Ed, 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 Ed and Akuma. エドモンド・ホンダと合気を持ってきてはいないですねデータでってエドモンド・ホンダはありましたよ So we have Honda <笑>合気は合気はまだリリースされてないので<笑> So because Akuma isn't released yet so we can't show it <笑> I asked that yesterday、yeah. They said no <笑>
どこが見たいか聞いてみて。So where 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 do you want to see you on Honda? <笑> oh Ed? Ed 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 ボクサーの方。ああ、エドもリリースされてないので。So it's not released yet. So it's not, it's the same. <笑> NDA said no. Okay, Sorry, we'll go with we'll go with you and then we'll go back to you. Hey. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Me again. Yep. Anyway,、um, who was the first character that was used for all the TD stuff? Was it Ryu? Technical, like, test, or, like, used at the time, the one who was first used to use the TD s t t h Ryu. Yeah, 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 ストリートファイターシリーズ、恒例なんですけど、まあ、リュウからとりあえず始めてみるっていう。So, um, we didn't have any like designs before, like when we were making the games. So, um, it, it's a tradition when, when it comes to like Street Fighter, Ryu is the first character to make. <laughs> yep. Hello,、uh, another question for me. Yep.、Um, I wonder how much scan data is being used when texturing the character skin. You guys didn't go for the texturing. Is it hand painted texture or how much, if it's scan,、mm -hmm. how much, how, how do you guys utilize the scan data? Okay. えっと、スキャンデータのテクスチャリングとかを例えばそのモデルに使ったりとかするのかっていうのとあとどれもし使ってる場合にはどれぐらい使ってるのかっていう質問ですね。えー、うん、2つ目なんでしょう,、えっと、う例えば今テクシテクモデゲームのモデルのテクスチャリングにスキャンデータで使ったテクスチャ情報を使ってるのかっていう質問と、はい、もしそれ使ってるのであればどれぐらい使ってるのかっていうあえー、っとそうですねけそのまま使ってるキャラクターはいないんですけどもえー、っとスキャンデータからジェットラップとかでえー、っとコピーしてきてでそれをベースにちょっと色味の調整をしたりだとかシミを消したりだとかっていうふうにしてますね。So there's no character which is directly using the 3D texture like 3D scan textures, but in some cases、um, there's some models that are using like 3D scan data and then like using Zwrap to actually、um, project the like textures and then tweaking them to their liking so they fit the characters more. <laughs> okay, we have we have. Okay, go ahead, Louis. We don't even need an introduction. I I would like to ask,、uh, what does it feel like to work on、uh, what can be coined at this particular point as a legacy franchise? What does it feel like to work on those characters, and how does that feel? あの歴史のあるフランチャイズだと思うんですけど、それのそのなんだ一つに関われてるっていう感覚ってどんなもんなんですかっていうところですね。どどんな気持ちなのかっていう。<laughs> <laughs> うそうですねあのストリートファイターシリーズが好きで、えー、会社に入ってきたんで、うん、だいぶ嬉しいですね。So, so he joined Capcom because he wanted to make Street Fighter. So he's <laughs> <laughs> it's an honor to work in Capcom. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>、uh, thank you. Yep.、Uh, I was curious about the size of the character modeling team and.、Uh, The, the characters are very complex and very beautiful, and I imagine they take a fair amount of time. So, do you get to get a chance to work on more than one or two, or are you on one and making all the costumes, and you're really owning one character, or are you splitting it up with another、uh, artist? あの会社内のえっとキャラクターモデラーのえっとまあ規模がどれぐらいなのかっていうのと、あと例えばその一つのキャラクターにすごく時間かかると思うんですけど、えっと一人がどれぐらいのキャラクターを担当することになるのかっていう質問ですね。会社の中でえっとストリートファイターのあストリートファイター部分で、はい、だったら何,何人って言ってたんですか昨日10人昨日十人ぐらいって言ったら<笑>えっとメインのモードは確か10人ぐらいでやっててあのワールドツアーモードっていうのがあるのでそれキャラクリを使うモードがあるのでそれはまた別に10人とかもうちょっといたりしますね、はい、So in the series we have the character creation where you can make the characters which Has more staff for that, but、um, it's a separate, separate team from the actual like, main character team. And the main character team has only 10 people inside. And, uh, 
、えー、と他の人は多分、まあ、4体ぐらいだとかそんなに全員が同じぐらい作ってるっていうわけではないですねもう本当にあのさすいっぱいできる人がいっぱいやるみたいな感じです。So for his example, he made six characters for the main、uh, the game, and then other team and the other people from the team is making like four characters in some cases. So there's a slight difference in the volume they can handle. Yeah. Okay, great. Yep,、yeah, awesome. I have, actually have a question. I was noticing <laughs> when you were showcasing your characters that one half of their body looks slightly larger than the other side. Is this for camera perspective, for the game and the, and the、um, user's experience when they're playing, or is this more of an asymmetrical approach? えっと、造形見てる時に気づいたんですけど片方だけがすごくでかい造形がたまにあったと思うんですね、はい、でそれは、えっと、パースとかそういうのを意識して意図的にそのなんか片方だけでかくして、えっと、非対称性を出してるのか片方だけがでかいありましたけどこうですかね Where did, where did you notice that? ダーシムダーシム I also could just be blind. <laughs> It's possible. <laughs> but when you're rotating, they just, just slightly. But it could just be me. It could be perspective off. Oh, it could be, yeah, yeah. that's very true.、Mm. Oh, oh. Oh, yep, there you go.、Yeah. It's just me, everyone. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Thanks, Ian. Good job. <laughs> okay.、Um, we have time for one more question. Last question. So we're going to go. <laughs> Which character surprised you the most to learn from how to create? I think I have to say that 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 I h a v e なんかこんな変な体の人いるんだみたいな驚きはありましたね。<笑>リファレンス見ててってことです。そうですね。So when he was like making Delsim, so there was like he was like referencing a lot of like、uh, models and characters, but like he found out that there's like a lot of like strange body shapes that you that the actual like human can have. So he was very surprised in those kind of findings. Awesome. Well, that's going to wrap it up for the、uh, questions. Thank you again so much, Capcom, and everyone else. Give a big round of applause. <laughs> Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you, thank you. It's quite a shock. Oh, so cool.